Hey y'all, this is Ursula, the Harvey Container Gardener. So, it is Sunday afternoon. I'm out here in the garden trying to get a little work done. It's really, really overcast. We had a few little drizzles of rain this morning, but nothing serious. But it looks like at any time we might get a little bit more rain. So, I figure I'll come out here and get some stuff done that needs to be done. So, the cauliflowers, the purple and the orange cauliflowers down there have basically fallen over. Uh, that's one of them. Let's see, right here. And the other one is behind this cabbage. And it's basically falled over. So, I don't know, the leaves are looking a little funky something is going on with it and it looks like it might be affecting some of my other leaves so i'm going to go ahead and take those out and just do a little cleanup uh in the garden inside the crop cage so i'm gonna set you guys down so y'all can see all right hopefully y'all can see that first thing i need to do is i need to get this out of here it's getting big y'all but it's in my way all right get that out get my basket and my cutters all right so let's see so I took three out last week in the center so now I'm gonna take look like two of them out over here and like I said this one has already fallen yeah the leaves on this one is looking okay but it's soft up in here I see why it fell over all right so this will be going inside in the freezer I don't know what it is with these leaves on the cauliflowers. They're not looking that great. So let me take this one out. See the leaves on it? Look like it has some kind of disease or something. And this one was starting to do a little separation. So, all of these leaves got to go. Not bringing any of these leaves inside with me. All of them got to go. Only thing coming inside with me is the cauliflower. So, I hope everyone is having a great day today. Uh, Hope y'all are able to get into y'all garden and get some stuff done. If it's a pretty day in your area, I am in Louisiana, zone 9B. And it is still Mardi Gras down here in New Orleans, but did that yesterday. So I'm all Mardi Gras out for right now. <laughs> so y'all, this is the second one that I am cutting off. So, two purple cauliflowers. I will wash them up real good. Put these in the freezer. Oh, and if you've been following my channel, last week I cut off one purple and two orange. And I did put those in the oven. I roasted them with the olive oil, salt, pepper, a little seasoning. And they were delicious. So... I don't think I'm going to roast these because I still have some left over from when I roasted the other two. I think I'll put these in the freezer and when we get ready to have maybe some baked chicken and we want maybe like some steamed cauliflower or something, I will have these, y'all. So, uh, one more I need to cut. I don't know what it is with the leaves on these cauliflowers. I'm going to have to go over there because I can't reach it. 
from here. So, I hear the rain, y'all. I think we started getting some raindrops. And y'all, I know I'm all in the camera. This plant right here, this plant right here, I thought was a broccoli. <sighs> surprise, surprise. Another cauliflower. <laughs> it looked like that white snowball one, y'all. So I'm going to have more cauliflowers, but let me get in here and get this one out. I'm going to have two left in here that I'm not taking out just yet. This one, the leaves, the leaves have that same little look to it, kind of diseased looking. So this is going away. Cauliflower, look like it started separating. So it was time to come off anyway. Didn't get as big as the other ones, but I think whatever was going on with these leaves is affecting the cauliflower, but still edible. So it is going in with the other two. All right. So still have this one purple cauliflower. Those leaves seem to be okay. And there's another little orange cheddar one over here. These leaves are not looking that great. But it's so tiny, I'm going to just let it sit there and see. I think I might cut some of them bad leaves off and see if I can uh, get it to grow a little bigger. So, that's basically it for the cauliflower. Let me get back over here. And, oh. All right. So, <laughs> three more cauliflowers, y'all. Those came off. So, let me just do a quick cleanup of the leaves that look like was next to these cauliflowers that may have affected my cabbages. So, I'm just cutting them off. See like this one, this is a cabbage leaf that was next to that cauliflower. So, I'ma take stuff like this off. bottom leaves off that look like they may have been affected. Or just the old bottom leaves that are not getting sunlight. They're not getting sunlight. They're going to start looking like that. That looks like the majority of the cabbage leaves that were affected. No, I see a few more. Hold on. Right. Yeah, this needed to be done, y'all. Y'all, the plants don't need all these leaves on it 
just gives it an opportunity to grow a little bit better so basically that really just open up these little pockets that the cauliflower was growing in on oh, one more leaf one more leaf all right so let me show y'all the pockets that I have open now and I uh, possibly can put something there. So all of these pockets, well you see just a little stump, that's where all of the cauliflowers came from and right there. So the six pockets that I can possibly put something else there y'all, I don't know. But I will get um, my spade or small shovel. And I'll go ahead and dig the roots out. The stump and the roots. Because I don't think it's the, that pocket is big enough to leave the roots in and plant something else there. But I'll go ahead and dig the roots out. And I will um, add some all-purpose fertilizer to these little pockets and who knows what I will put in there for spring because if y'all watch my last video y'all see there's new life that's coming in the Harvey garden <laughs> not every seed I dropped has something coming up in it but it's doing pretty good so far so to uh, tomatoes are coming up I don't think anything else is coming up yet but tomatoes and the bell peppers, they do take a little bit longer than tomatoes. So bell peppers usually take 10 to maybe 15 days before they're germinated. So what I did was um, I had half of the tray of tomatoes, but two, two uh, columns of tomatoes. The middle column was empty and then two columns of peppers. So since I have tomatoes coming up, I don't want to put the dome back on a, on top of it because the tomatoes that, that are coming up, you know, they, I have them under the grow light. So what I did was I took some um, saran wrap and I just kind of covered the peppers so that, you know, they'll be secure, they'll have that warmth and that condensation and they'll be okay. And the tomatoes are coming up and they're under the um, grow lights and they're, they're doing great. So hopefully in a couple of days, I might see some little sprouts of the peppers coming up. Crossing my fingers, y'all. Crossing my fingers. But I do need to get out here and do a harvest of these mustard greens right here. These are some big leaves. And I think it's time to do a harvest. I also need to harvest these collards. broccoli florets over here the head is gone but I have those new florets so I am going to maybe cut some of those off and put those in the freezer camp <laughs> I have a few new ones on and this one has gone to flower so I'll go ahead and cut those off and the ones that are good I'll go ahead and keep those but um, for right now I think that's all I wanted to do was to get those cauliflowers out so I can wash them and go ahead and put them in the freezer for a future meal cabbages are all doing great they are getting so big they are really big and solid this is the flat dutch that's a flat dutch they're doing pretty good these i believe are the stonehead I believe it might be the stone here, but these so far have been doing great. That's a nice size cabbage. I don't think it's big enough to take yet. This is one of those flat dutch, so this will be coming a little later. That's one of the stone heads. And then I have these beauties. These are a little bit different. These might be the extreme vapes. This one, I don't think it's gonna get any bigger. Oh, and I see it's starting to split. So I'm going to go ahead and take that one off. And I have this one. So 
while I'm in here let me go ahead and take this one out can y'all see let me bring it down all right so yeah this one um, like I said, it's starting to split and I prefer to take it off than to let it sit there and go bad. So I'm doing a harvest <laughs> and y'all, what I've heard is if I just cut the top off and leave the base, a new head of cabbage may grow out of, the, out of this. Oh, I can't talk today. <laughs> so I think that's what I'm going to try never grew a second head of cabbage i've seen it on tv and on other youtube channels but i've never experienced it so i'm gonna cut the top and just leave the bottom on there and see if i can get another head Get this y'all it ain't that big but it's big enough to add to what i already have in the freezer for a meal and this i'm gonna let it sit and i'm gonna see if it's gonna grow another cabbage here y'all so harvesting even more than i thought i was gonna harvest today all right let me put this with the cauliflowers Yeah, and that other cauliflower surprised me because I really thought that that was a broccoli. So that means I'm going to have to check all of them and see because I do remember planting cauliflower. Uh, but, you know, as I say, my seeds got kind of mixed up when I started up potting and stuff like that. So uh, I guess I just assumed that it was a broccoli and it ended up being a cauliflower. So, let me turn y'all around. I'm going to show y'all what I had to do with this, these onions. Alright, so y'all. That's my parsley. And that's some green onions I think I'm going to go ahead and get. Maybe not today because I need to go inside and process that cabbage and that cauliflower. These are some green onions. These green onions had gotten so tall. I went ahead and put something in the middle oh I'm gonna have to fix that and just try to stand them up because I noticed when they when it rains and they sit in the the soil the leaves go bad like this but if it's elevated out of the soil the leaves continue growing they don't um, turn brown and they seem to be doing okay so that's another project though, y'all. That's another project. I mean, I don't mind doing them because it's beautiful out here today. Like I said, it's overcast, has a little breeze to the air, and it feels really, really good. But right now, I am checking to see <laughs> if I have any more cauliflower <laughs> that I thought was a broccoli. Still don't have anything with the purple sprouting broccolis. Don't see anything with the um, the broccoli Romaniscos either. But uh, I think on my next video, I'm gonna do a big harvest because I have to harvest, what is it? The beets, the radishes, some green onion, I want to harvest the cauliflower leaf, not the cauliflower leaves, the um, mustard leaves, the collard leaves. I'm going to, let me turn you around. I'm going to harvest from this collard tree where the leaves are growing in great and they're looking good. Maybe some of the broccoli leaves. And I also want to harvest this kohlrabi this purple kohlrabi 
and well this one is not as big but there's another purple karabi that's down up in here this one is not as big as this one so i want to get it before it gets woody and oh i didn't tell y'all the last time the a karabi um it was the white vienna karabi i believe and first time ever growing or harvesting a karabi so i cut the outside of it off got to the inside and i just kind of cut it up because i was going to make karabi fries because i've heard people make karabi fries so but i wanted to taste it raw so it was cut up you know about the size of a small fry and i cut them up a couple of times so me and my husband tasted it and y'all it was only one we ate that before i could put it in a fryer so it had a great taste to it it had the texture of of like an apple the texture of it was like an apple the taste of it was like the uh the stem of the cabbages that that you cut out the hard part and i remember as a child when my grandmother used to be cutting up cabbage to cook we used to be sitting at the table and whenever she took one of those hard stems out we would grab it we would have our salt or salt and pepper and that was a snack for us like that was a treat back in the country for us so the karabi kind of gives me that taste of the stem of the cabbages y'all it didn't last it didn't last we tasted and tasted trying to see what it was it tasted like and by the time i realized how much we had to taste it it wasn't enough to fry <laughs> so hopefully that purple one would be just as tasty because i heard they taste just alike they're just different colors so that'll be the next thing let me show y'all back behind the greenhouse also Ooh, sorry y'all let me show y'all back behind the greenhouse. I was gonna up pot these or up plant these, and I decided to leave them alone. But here, so those are the not this. That's another empty pot that I have to use. All right, so these are the little um, purple. What it is? Um, Ruby Perfection cabbages. I didn't think they were doing that great, but I see some new leaves, some new green leaves coming on. So they're starting to look great back here and I'm not going to touch them. And this area, I have some more collets. These are ready to be harvested. So I'm going to take this netting off, go ahead and harvest them, get them down to a decent size, go ahead and fertilize and put the covers back. But let me take this off so y'all can see how big they have gotten. Y'all, I keep these covered back here because I, well, I'm, well, I can't fit them in a crop cage now. Can't move this um, big grow bag, but they are looking great. The leaves are really big and looking good. So when I do this harvest up in here, Plus the harvest that's in a crop cage. I ought to have me a nice pot of greens. My back here behind the shed, I got back here and I kind of cleaned up all of the okra plants I had sitting back here. Kind of got some grass up. I am going to go ahead and put some um, some landscaping fabric down here. And I have my trellis. My DIY part metal added bamboo poles to make it a little bigger trellis for sweet potatoes or the beans or whatever needs a trellis. So y'all, your girl have been working. I have been working. So let me get back around on the other side. I am going to take my harvest inside like I said wash them up and uh, put them in a the freezer 
couple of more things I wanted to show y'all before I let y'all go. So over here is some Swiss chard, y'all. Look at that. That's some more Swiss chard. Some more. And y'all, this is the spinach. The spinach leaves almost look like Swiss chard. But this is looking so good. I have another little small one that I didn't think made it, but it looked like it's making it. So that one is growing. This one, I got to get in here and clean it up. Get these leaves off of here. And I'll be cutting me some Swiss chard pretty soon. And I think I can mix it with the spinach. I don't know. I might try it separately and then mix them together and see what I think about it. Some more green onions. I went ahead and added some blood meal. And then I added some compost on the top of it because some of them were kind of laying down. So I needed to go ahead and add something to it. So instead of just adding soil, I added compost. And they're looking great. And those are some onions that are planted. Over here are the blueberries. The pink lemonade blueberries. So y'all, they're looking great have a lot of buds haven't seen a berry yet but this little this little bush is loaded it is loaded so I took it out the greenhouse so that it can get you know the sun the rain whatever it needs because it wasn't a greenhouse but I left it here because if we get any more cold snaps it's not too far from the greenhouse and then I have these two. This one has a lot of new growth on it. There's a few little, I want to say berries, on the stem at the top. But this one doesn't seem to be doing much. And this one looks like it's coming back to life. So garlic and onions back behind the blueberries, they're doing great. The garlic on the other side and onions they're doing great carrots turnips radishes beets they're doing great the apple tree has a whole lot of little buds on it i also added some tree fertilizer down on the ground and i added some compost on top of that so hopefully I get some apples yo let me show y'all this now I don't know I don't know if this means that this is coming back or I'm just seeing things but if y'all been following my channel y'all know I have two apple trees I had the red delish and a golden delish right so we had a strong windstorm maybe in October something like that and the tree broke right at the point where it was grafted so i had this um stick well this pole in there but it wasn't secure enough to hold the tree from breaking so i took a branch let me show so this is the pole that was supposed to be holding up the tree but it wasn't um tight enough to the tree to kind of hold it in place so when the tree broke i took a branch off the tree and I just stuck it down in the soil. So I said, well, either it's gonna die or it might take, and I might get another little apple tree from this. I don't know y'all because I've never done this before, but I'm looking and it looks like it's getting a little knots where the leaves and stuff come out at. I can't just yank it out the ground. Feel like it's, it's in there tight. I'm thinking this little branch didn't die, took some roots, and might be doing okay. I'm gonna keep my fingers crossed. And last thing, y'all, is this little banana bush. I went and I cleaned it up a lot, cleaned uh, all of the outside, not all of it, but a good bit of the outside off. Uh, I don't know. I don't know this look like a little leaf that's trying to come out I don't know why it's leaning over but I did cut back a lot of that bush 
but I have the two little ones two little pups that I took off hopefully they make it well I think they are because they're starting to have some new leaves coming out the center I don't know what's going on with the big one but we'll see but let's see if you can see it up inside the, um, on the porch those are the two little ones little pups that I took off and they got some new leaves coming up all right y'all let me get my harvest and I need to come back out here and clean up all of these leaves on the ground but today this is what I got the purple small orange one look like they were separating but they still look good another nice size purple one and a small head of cabbage that sounds like a meal to me what y'all think <laughs> all right y'all i am about to bring this inside come back out here clean up all of those leaves that i just took off um if it doesn't start raining i think i'm gonna get my little small shovel and go ahead and dig those roots out so that i could possibly get it prepared to maybe put something else in there i have a few little plants over here that i think the seeds drop in the uh, planter where the apple tree is and i went ahead and dug them out and put them in little small pots i might put those over there who knows right now they're just in little small pots just to have somewhere for them to be let me show y'all what i'm talking about all right so i have this purple well red mustard i guess is a red giant mustard i have that one i have a kale um i guess it's a red russian kale i don't know this don't look right so just coming off and i'll throw it with the rest of the leaves but i have a kale this i believe is either a tot soy or bok choy and this little leaf don't look that great so i have this one and this is uh, i believe it's the mazuna mustard mazuna I'm not going to take this one off because it really only have two leaves. I'm going to leave this one. But yeah, these, I believe when I was trying to plant seeds, I think those seeds dropped in the tree. And I started seeing stuff coming up and I realized it wasn't just weeds. So I got them out. I went ahead and planted them. I'll just grow those separately. All right, y'all. I've been, I've been holding y'all too long. I'm about to go. I got some stuff to do before the rain starts. But... I want to thank you guys for following me around in my Harvey garden, uh, visiting and just being supportive. Thank you guys for the time, for the comments, you know, just for viewing. I thank you guys. So with that said, I wish y'all have a wonderful, wonderful day. Y'all have a safe week of the upcoming week that's coming. Y'all be safe. Y'all be blessed. Y'all have a great day. All right. Bye.